We have trees. <laughs> we have trees. Hey guys, how's it going? It's been a little while since we've seen you. We just got back from tour, and we, this tour we were trying to be very conscious of all the trash we were using. So we started collecting all the trash and actually carrying it with us. It smelled great in the trailer. <laughs> um, we're going to separate it out and see what's recyclable and see what's not and see, maybe weigh it out and see exactly how much trash we produced during those two weeks. All this garbage is making me hungry. Is this all trash then? It looks like that's... So what, what do we got? What do we got? We got kombucha bottles. We this is had, the what? This is, this is the recycling pile. Okay, so reasonably better on recycling compared to just trash. This is compostable, this egg carton. I mean, this is still... When you think about it, so all these yeah, things yeah. here... Even though it's like... Think so? Okay. You can clean it off, but that's compostable. It'll work like this. Uh, so this is... You know, snacks, right? That we're looking at all the things, trying to understand why we got the stuff. Drinks. And we were just basically saying that all of this comes from being unprepared and not proactive enough. And, uh, you know, we got, I got, I think I got these, these chewy granola bars, right? And each of these is wrapped in plastic. And the box is cardboard. And yeah, we're able to recycle this stuff, but there's still energy that has to go into to make that happen, which is why the goal is really in the long term. Uh, low waste, low impact lifestyle as close to possible, as close to zero as possible. Um, so it, with that in mind, then we want to just be as prepared as possible. So Miriam made these awesome snack bars at one point, the trip, and then they didn't last long. They were so, they were so they were good. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn, but I'm going to toot my own horn. <laughs> they were good. So we're planning on making a heck of a whole lot more, a big batch. This time I'm thinking we each have our own silverware, our own uh, container, like our own plate, bowl, whatever, and um, and we bring on the road a nice big fat jar for to refill our waters, and yeah. like that water, stopping at the water stations really um, worked out for us, so we'll continue to do that. Bigger container to... Yeah, show, us, show us something of yours in here, Johnny. Let's see if you can find something that you know is... Uh, that's in the recycling or the trash? Either or. What are, okay, let's look at the styrofoam, because I know we all contributed to the styrofoam. Alright, god damn it. Like those one hey, I used a bunch of these face wipes when I was dirty on the road and uh, there's probably a more a less wasteful way to clean myself and my face. Cause you know, now I'm gonna we got what, for that this time it, all the wipes are in here. So just got a bunch of wipes that basically just end up having to be trash. Um uh, I know we went to some restaurants that What was it called? It was actually really good. Eat, pray, love. <laughs> it's in New Orleans, but this is this is bad. And it really Styrofoam. wasn't the healthiest food, honestly. Yeah, it wasn't, but it tasted good. <laughs> um, but so, what? Why did we do that? What, what's your reflection on that? Like using the styrofoam. <clears throat> um, we just could have been. We could have been more prepared, and we could have, you know, even had our own containers to take our food in. You know, not to say we'll never eat out on the road, but. You know, there's a lot of ways that we could reduce this, and we'll see what it looks like after six weeks, but I can tell you that this pile is going to be a lot smaller next time. Yeah, so definitely this is, like I was saying, this is all trash that can't be recycled. I think this one, did it say no? We're not sure. It says eco-friendly, but most of this stuff over here we're looking at is all going to go in the trash here. And then over here is uh, the recycling pile. So as I said, it's mainly recyclable stuff and a couple of compo uh, compostable things, but it's still, we could still do better here and uh, just trying to be more prepared and um, what else? I mean, is there anything, what, what are your thoughts, Jeff, for looking at all this? Um, I'm thinking if we do eat out, which we, we will end up doing again, we're going on tour for six weeks, we ask for paper bags when we go to uh, when we go to the groceries, groceries why, why can't we just say, hey, can you put it on a, you know, if there's any plastic, can, you, can we opt out of that? Well, I will say to that, that on the night we went to, in Dallas, and we went to the diner uh, at night with everybody, I specifically asked this lady a couple of different times, and this is just like, this isn't Denny's, it was just like a local, small little diner, diner food, 
And I asked her, like, hey, is there any way, because I got some french fries to go. And so I know one of these styrofoams is because I got those fucking french fries. And I felt so <laughs> stupid about it later because I talked to her and told her, like, hey, we're, you know, about the tour and everything. And I was just saying, like, I don't really want to, if possible, can I... Can I get french fries? Can you... <laughs> <laughs> those are recyclable. So I just basically asked her, like, can you put them in just, like, a paper bag or something for me or, like, anything? And she's, like, said something along the lines of, like, they were required to put them in styrofoam or some kind of, like, shit like that. Or I don't know if that meant store policy. I doubt it was. I mean, it could be the law. But so she ended up just giving it to me in styrofoam and in a plastic bag. And I just left, like, damn it, this wasn't even worth it at all. So, um, yeah, sometimes that won't be possible. But I do think that if we have reusable silverware, cups... And like that little bowl that I had, that can really help you in a lot of situations of not having to be wasteful. Is there what did you find? any, like, a protein bar? Protein bars are awesome. Like, we all love freaking protein bars. But each company out there is selling them in a box and individually wrapped. This is wasteful. So is there any way that these companies can go about like selling their delicious, beautiful, nutritious protein bars in a more sustainable way? Yeah. And do you know any companies that do? Yeah. Write so in the comments. And will they sponsor this tour? <laughs> <laughs> With, I tried to do that. I reached out to some companies, you know. But all right, guys. Idea. Uh, this is uh, anything else? Any other closing thoughts? Once again, here's the, here's the recyclable stuff. You can see. And there is the trash, which it looks kind of big when you're first looking at it, but it's really just styrofoam, which is the worst disgusting thing in the world, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, that's what we did. But for five people traveling for two weeks, I don't think we did bad. And we definitely were all talking amongst ourselves that I think we kind of let go at the end, towards the end of the tour. Um, any closing thoughts on the tour and on our waste? It has been a beautiful experience, but we definitely have... Uh, we will be preparing better. We'll compare this pile to the next pile after six weeks. Just want to say, Captain Planet's my hero. It's gonna All take right. pollution down to zero. Love. Right. Okay. <laughs> Water. Uh, fire. Heart. No, I'm, I guess I'm heart. Your heart. Captain, Captain Planet. Planet. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you soon. Remember, we're going on tour July 10th, heading to the West Coast and Midwest. Check it out at theconsciousresistance.com/tour. Peace.